Before we start, please take into account that Arkenforge is a very robust piece of software. The way I use it is in no circumstances the only way to do it. It is far more flexible and allows various techniques to achieve the same goal. Also, in these short clips, I focus on the map making part of Arkenforge, but it is far more advanced with its own soundscape and encyclopedia models, and many, many more. I encourage you to experiment with the software yourself as much as you can. Hey, Timur Soul here. This will be a short video about importing your own assets into Arkenforge. Um, now, you might have noticed that while I have my cartographer content selection, I have several uh, or a few folders over here. I have the official creators where I have my Arkenforge assets. I have a CC3 folder. This is my campaign cartographer folder. Now, campaign cartographer is a different piece of software. It is aimed more towards overland maps and uh, regional maps, uh, city maps, also dungeon maps, although it's a vastly different type of software and it has a license that allows you to use their assets outside of their program uh, if you do not use um, if you if you do not use them to just distribute them as are so um, for example if you open some random folder over here you see a human skeleton um, you could put it over here if i would be to extract this singular object right now i would breach the license terms um, so keep that in mind if you ever use outside assets please check with your license if you're allowed to use the assets uh, and if no just pay the artist for a proper license um, now i also have um, a forgotten adventures uh, folder over here forgotten adventures is the most popular i believe is the most popular um, map asset pack that is uh openly available on the internet uh, it has a slew of uh, of different assets and different types of assets um, now their license on the other hand is non-commercial use only so you're not allowed to use these in any commercial project or program that you have um, if you would like to obtain a, a paid license you need to reach out to the makers of forgotten adventures and i also have my own assets over here assets that i um, either built myself or um, or bought from different places like um, like, like let's say dm's guild or any other um, i have a few things over here that you might find interesting for example i lately used a lot of forgotten adventures um, walls for my maps i have a small uh, project with a friend of mine we're building uh, a whole set of different uh, battle maps for free use uh, for our friends and we're, we we are uh, using different types of software so we agreed that we will be using the fa uh, forgotten adventures assets uh, for building them to keep things uh, coherent and intact um, what i did is i flipped these walls that i will find over here and I believe permanent structures and walls. You have all different sets of walls, but they are um, they are vertical. Now Arkenforge doesn't like that uh, a lot. I mean, if you would put them down, they uh, work fine. But if you would use the technique that I use usually, so the line and straight line, you would end with something like this which is not exactly what i want the lines need to be horizontal so what i did is i just extracted the files and i flipped them so they are horizontal now and i can use the uh, straight line tool to build a little bit faster um okay so what else do i have here i have some hovels from campaign cartographer i have other things uh, i have the shadows and lights um symbol sets and so on and so on um, and how did i get these files into arkenforge well that's actually super super simple you go into your main menu import content and over here on the left side you have music sound effects mapping effects encyclopedia assets tokens arkenforge maps and universal vtts now um notice that 
the font over here although it's uh, grayish and maybe not so uh, eye-catching as uh, as you might uh, expect it to be it does tell you uh, what you can do in this specific place um, I've learned that you need to really read everything that you have on your screen uh, to make the least amount of, um, of mistakes over here you see the CC tree for Cotton Adventures and my assets the things that you saw before a second I can create a separate, uh, separate folder I can go inside any of these folders and create a separate folder or subfolder if I want to go back I go back to my root directory mm, if I go somewhere deeper I can always go back to any directory by choosing it here um, let's upload a file over here you have import files and import PNG sequence PNG sequences are um, are animations basically you have a sequence of png images that uh, create an illusion of animation this is how you can import a separate animation into the program let's import a, a singular file now these are assets that i made myself i have simply drawn them for one of the maps that i need them that i needed um, these are png files uh, you simply can select one or multiple of those and click open they will appear here now this is not in any way the same as you having them in your arcan forge if i would close this one or minimize this one over here you won't find them anywhere it's, it's not here um so going back to import content you need to select this and move it to the library over here Okay, I need to go back to your mapping asset and move it down to your uh, to your path. If you have more files over here, just use the move all to library. Um, up until uh, up to the moment from uh, when they move from this part to this part, they are in the so so called import queue and they are not usable. I'm gonna put this one into uh, my assets natural shady tree 8 move selected to library close this now close my assets natural and you have the shady tree 8 ready just like that <laughs> 